Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are going to be doing the front end of the Losi Mini T 2.0 now. Um, and I've never taken one of these apart, so we are going to learn <laughs> together, I guess. So let's see if I can get this whole front end off. Taking these two screws out here. Out here, right here, right. Let's see if I can get a little better light on us for us guys. Is that better? I hope that's better for us. Take this one out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, those two are out. This a little closer. Um, I'm gonna put those there. Okay, looks like. And I think if we do these two under here, I might pop this whole thing off. I don't know. Pretty long screws. Okay. I imagine that went up, held these two together like a clamp in here, so be careful. Have to pay attention to this when we take it apart. Okay. Let's pull that off to see what's under there. Oh, more. Okay. Two more. Just wondering how all those stay together. Can you see that? Hoping you guys can see all that. They're a little shorter, so. Probably should have taken the shocks off because now this thing is pushing the shocks up. Right. Okay, but that took it off the bottom there. Okay, so you have the two screws, took the cover off, two more screws, and undoing those two screws brought the whole thing off. So we are just going to unclip the, the servo right there. And so I'm going to take this off here and put it back on the car so we don't lose it. Oh. Just dropped it. So it looks like it's the same on both sides. So, yeah, it's a nice tight fit on there. So let's put that to the side. All right. Put that the body to the side. Uh, we don't need the tire there no more. We don't need to set it on anything. And we are going to replace most of this with um, chrome parts or aluminum parts. All these hop ups we got here. So let's take the tires off. Here is the front end. Mm. I don't know how those come apart, to tell you the truth. I wonder if you just poke them out. Yeah. Okay, so I figured out how to do that. Sorry, I had to take you guys offline. I just didn't want to see. Um, sit here and stare at me try to figure this out for an hour <laughs> didn't take too long though but i 
I just got a little started. And um, need to punch that out. My shock's falling apart. Better if you can find like a little better blunt. Need a, yeah, might help a little bit better. There we go. Hit it out a little bit and it pops out a little bit and then you can get a nice pair of pliers on there. I'm just taping it on there so I know where it goes back to, guys. How do I go? That way I kind of know. Okay. Give me a little bit idea. Mm. All right. I'm going to put my shock back together so I don't lose this part. Actually, I'll do it when it's back off. Okay. Um, let's pop. Let's start here. Okay. Pop those two off. Okay. And then we're going to pop those off. Um, Here's a little I just pop that off and then that comes off, okay? And I'm going to pop this one off. So this sits here on this side. And we know it's the left side. And we'll do the same thing on this side. There those go. All right. So let's see what we got. Let's go to the front hubs. This whole assembly area right here. This will go there. This is that front piece there. Shock tower. Um, these go on. Looks like these go on that. I'll hold the front down. I don't know, that's part of the steering. And the arms. So these, <laughs> so everything. <laughs> we don't need the arms. Okay. So let's start. with this little bad boy right here. Everything's nice and packaged. The screws come in a separate container. I like how that is. 
on. This looks like it's gonna go down here like so. Okay. So it's gonna go exactly like that. Um, let's pull this one out. And it's cool because each piece, right, it gives you the screws for that part. So if you don't want to do the whole thing like I'm doing, you can just buy a part. And it's going to come with the screws to do that part. Just like this one came for this screw to do this part. This one might come with the screws to do all these parts. So, see, and that goes like that, okay. Right now it looks like this one takes this bottom piece off. Okay. Okay, so, so we don't need those ones, so we need a screw that big, which came out of this pack. And I'm not going to use these two nuts that just fell out of this, these two holes right here, right? So it's sitting like this, right? And there's two nuts in there. I'm not going to use those nuts because it's got threaded ones in there. It's threaded now instead of using nuts. It's, it's already got the threads in there. So and we're going to use this little one right here. A little Loctite. You guys can see what I'm doing. Let's get on. Um, A little Loctite on there. Okay. It's close. Now we're going to pull these two out. Put them on the outsides. And just take a 1.5 also. Everything Seems to be the same size, which is nice. Same size wrench. And like I said, when you guys are done with this stuff, you don't need to crank these things in tight because you're using Loctite. Um, do, um, do weight though, if you can. Just stress that with uh, Loctite. Wait 24 hours for it to set up. I know people think it sets up right away, but it doesn't. It takes a while for it to actually harden up. And when you don't let it harden up, it's just going to work its way back out. This Loctite, what it does is reacts to metal to metal and it gums up. It gets hard and gums up the threads, so... Okay, yeah. so that was there like that, okay, let's um, let's see what else we got here, see, I'm thinking we're going to need all these parts right here on this one, or the screws anyways. Those two, these are like the bottom ones for those. Um, let's pull off this just to get it out of the way. Set it to the side. 
Just so we can get to everything a little easier here, guys. That's all. That's all I'm doing this one for. So I'm just taking off the shock mount. All right, now we can see that a little better. This back right here, okay? So we wanna take out this screw. See how it spins. We want to take a small side of the T ranch. As I said, you guys, when as many cars as you get, if you only get one, keep this T ranch. I've got multiple, and I keep them all. I probably have, I don't know. You don't get one with every car, but. Probably have five or six of them laying around somewhere. They come in handy. Okay. Same with this one. This one went over here. I'm just trying to figure out how I did that. <laughs> okay. So it was like that, right? Let's open this one up. Let's, uh, yeah, this stuff's nice, nice quality stuff here. So that looks like that. It's got the hole in the back for that piece. Got the hole in the front for that piece and that piece. And looks like those two pieces go right here with these ones. Right. Um, let's see what these screws look like. Oop. Okay. Okay, I'll put this one to the side here, take this one off. I'm using these just because I think there's a there's a sleeve at the end of these. That's what it is, okay? You guys see that? There's a sleeve right at the head of the screw and it's smooth there. So these things can slide around on them. So you don't really want to get your Loctite up there. Because if you get the Loctite up there, it gums up how smooth they'll be. So when you stick the Loctite through, Okay, and that leaves them loose for swinging. 
Make sure they're tight, snug them up, don't crank on them and strip them. Um, so that goes there, 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 okay. There went that screw. Okay, now I see what those do. Okay, I'm gonna put these on before I forget, like I did last time. So we use the screws or the the bearings. It actually comes with bearings. How nice is that? That is awesome. One on the top. One on the bottom. Goes in the bottom. And with this one, it's gonna go in the bottom. Bam. Gonna go like this, right? I'm hoping. <laughs> hoping I did that right. Bam. Okay. Does that look right? Yeah. See those little things go down on the top of the bearings there. Looks like. Okay. Okay, so let's put this back in there. All right. This in the bottom. Okay. All right, you gotta don't, don't tighten them too tight because then you just crush the bearings. So, or not crush the bearings, but make them so tight that they won't move. Okay. Too tight. <laughs> 
See, those are a little too tight, if you can help it. There we go. Okay. Nice and loose. Sweet. All right. <clears throat> Off to the races with the next part. Let's see. This was on there next, right? Because this is done and this is done. Those are done. That's on there. Until we take this one. Okay. Shock tower braces. It's a shock tower brace. It comes with the. So. Let's see. I'm imagining the hop ups would be in the front. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Okay, so it sits on there one way, like this. Okay. Only goes on one way, which is kind of cool. Um, we will be using these posts, because I don't see any anywhere, so looks like we have to reuse these ones. I will look for aluminum ones like that, just to see if they make those or not. Um, but yeah, we'll go from there. I definitely want to lock tight all these down. Get one of these started. Just a little snug, not real snug, just enough to leave it loose around so we can get all four of them in before we crank on them. Or don't crank on them, guys. <laughs> just tighten them. Just tighten them up. So, yeah. This is nice. All this stuff's going together great, guys. Get this stuff at uh, RC Hop Ups at JJ Customs. Um, I'll leave the links down below for all this stuff. It's a very nice product. It does have a, I think you said a 30-day warranty JJ Customs is doing for these. Okay, so if you have a, a problem with one, let's say for some reason, you know how, you know how it is, guys. You know, you get these aftermarket parts. Um, maybe they forgot to drill one hole or something or put threads in one hole. Um, so if that's the case, then... Um, uh, let them know and they'll replace it. Okay. He doesn't have an issue with that. 30 days though. He doesn't want you keeping them on for holding on to it for a year and then finding out it's, um, bad and then try to replace it. Okay. So let's take this off so we can get the shock on there. So I'm just taking the shock out of 
this holder and I'll put this screw back till so we know exactly where it went. It's a long screw. Okay. I'm going to put it back in there. Just a little ways so we know exactly where it came through. Okay. Put this shock on. Uh, and this one has um, a piece inside. So let's pop that out. I just pop the little piece out and you slide this one on there. Bam. Okay. Um, I'm going to take one of the new nuts and put it on there. And there's a lock nut, so as long as you get it past the point of the nut, you guys can see that. That way you can loosen it up a little bit. There's plenty, plenty there, guys. You look, one side has a piece on it there. One side doesn't, so you wanna either wanna poke it through or pop it out like I did on the last one. I just popped it out and brought it out this way, okay? Yeah, there we go, guys. All right, um, I'm going to stop it here because it's a pretty long video. Um, I'm going to try to shorten it up a little bit, but um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, you all have a good day.